so this time I wanted to go in a little more detail about um, rectangular solids in a one and two point perspective. Um, so, you know, in, in one point you've got your horizon line, you've got a vanishing point, um, you've got your lines uh, going to the vanishing point, you've got uh, lines perpendicular to the horizon line, and then you've got maybe some lines paralleling the horizon line. And then you've got, if you're going to draw through the form, you're going to draw back to the, uh, back to the vanishing point. Then to find where the verticals are, you're going to drop your parallels to the horizon. And since I'm not using a ruler, I'm just going to split the difference. And there it is. Um, so here we've got a basic rectangular solid. Um, and you'll notice this starts to be a little, a little odd looking here. Um, so that's why, you know, you would choose to use, um, two point perspective in a different sort of situation. So that you have lines receding on both sides. So there you have it. It's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty simple sort of uh, sort of system uh, here and here. Um, and uh, in, in a later video, we'll we'll talk about why uh, and how one point perspective tends to uh, tends to break down, um, and why choosing your vanishing points at the right distance in two point perspective uh, is really important for uh, for your drawing. So. Whenever you're drawing um, uh, rectangular solids, um, just keep in mind that in one point perspective, you're going to be using uh, uh, lines that are parallel and perpendicular to your vanishing point, and one set of lines is going to go uh, go back towards your vanishing point. In two point, you're going to have uh, just uh, perpendicular lines to the horizon. Uh, and then two sets of lines that are going uh, back to vanishing points on the uh, on the horizon line. So that should be uh, making a little bit of sense now. But let's say that you're that you're drawing a uh, you know a solid that is um, oriented a little differently to the horizon line, um, and then you're going back to a vanishing point from there, because um, obviously those are not parallel and perpendicular to the horizon line. But what has in fact happened in this situation is that your horizon line has changed. Your horizon line is there. Um, so your horizon line can, can actually, can not only be like parallel and above uh, if you're working with multiple horizon lines, but your horizon line can also uh, turn, tilt, and be at an angle um, depending on the objects that you're drawing. Um, so this is kind of like how you'd create sort of a, a boxes floating in space feels by is you know by actually tilting the horizon line and using multiple uh, horizon lines rotating around this axis so um, that's something that you can uh, play around with uh, and something that happens in a lot in sequential art and illustration